Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So in 2021, I had two coworkers that are huge into anime, specifically Bleach, and they wouldn't <laughs> they wouldn't shut up about the Thousand Year Blood arc. You know, in a way, I owe it to them to do a review because I'm gonna be honest with you all, it's been a minute since I've watched me some Bleach. I mean, can you really blame me though? I, I think the anime ended sometime in 2012, but yo, I stopped watching, I think in 2006? After season three, I think was the rescue arc where they rescued Rukia from the, um, you know, that, that thing? So yeah, it's been, oh man, how 14, 15, 16 years? I know absolutely nothing about it. I don't read the manga. I just know that there was a lot of hype surrounding the new arc. Okay, so let's dive into the plot. So the Thousand Year Blood arc, I really can't tell you where it begins because I don't even know. I don't even know. Season one finished. It's good. It's, it's really good. The plot, uh, the plot is... <laughs> In fact, there's, the fact there's just... The plot is... Everyone gets fucked up. I don't even know how to put it. I don't even know how to explain it. They just all get fucked up. There's this militant group called... Oh, man. There's this militant group called the Wandenreich. They invade Soul Society. To aid with the attack on Soul Society, the Wandenreich deployed a special group of high-ranking officers called the Sturmritter. I'm not too familiar with their names, but they are designated by letters of the alphabet. The Stern Ritter have devastating abilities, and their powers, at least right now, are greater than those of the 13 guard captains. They totally obliterate most, if not all, of the Serite. But all you need to know is about the captains, that they just get worked. They all get worked. <laughs> The Wanden, the Wanden Reich, those people, in the current meta, the rest here. Ichigo is, I really, <laughs> I really don't know what to say. He knows how to fight. And one thing about him, just like the other main characters of this type of genre, he just never gives up. He doesn't know how to give up. He's like Bruce Willis in Armageddon. Come on, Harry, press the button. Press the button, Stamper. We win, Tracy. There's Ishida who does absolutely nothing. I think he does something in, I think the first episode for maybe a few seconds, but he does absolutely nothing. Chad, nothing, doesn't do anything either. That dude had maybe two lines or three lines in 13 episodes. And then there's Inoue, 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 or Orahime. That's a lot easier. I think there was an episode where she actually used her barrier. She also healed, I don't know, some guy. Her power is pretty cool, but she she doesn't really do much either. Ichigo was center stage. What can I tell you? What I will say, Tite Kubo, God, I hope I'm saying that right. The artist of Bleach, he has a, <laughs> let's just say he has a, um, he has a unique way of drawing women. And I'm not complaining. When did Matsumoto cut her hair? I mean, wow. The current captains, I forgot all their names. I know there's 13 of them and they wear the white robes. The new captains, I don't recognize them. I don't recognize them at all. Matter of fact, I don't even recognize, I don't even remember most of them. <laughs> <laughs> and the only one I recognize is the old man. He's the head captain. He's number one. He's in charge of all of them. Not to mention he's the oldest. Why there's no one else around his age, I don't know. He's obviously lived a long time. And, um, I know the old man. <laughs> Back then, like, I knew all the captains' names, I knew all their lieutenants, and some of the squad members, but it's just been so long, man. And can you blame me? Now looking back, I have to say my favorite captain is Shunsue. He's always lacksadaisical and carefree, something I can definitely relate to. My head has always been in the clouds, and I love me some naps. 
It's also nice to have an assistant who's looking out for you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Bleach had probably the worst reputation when it comes to fillers. Filler episodes everywhere. There were arcs just for fillers. I don't even want to count how many filler episodes there were. If the series ended in 2012, 10 years? 10 years to start the anime back up? Which brings me to another thing. I was actually surprised they kept the original voice actors. And that's really great. It really says something, and I'm glad they decided to do that. You know, I was hoping they would, because if they didn't, they probably would have got a lot of shit. Because Soul Society got attacked, Squad Zero came up from on high to grace everyone with their presence. Squad Zero is stronger than all 13 court captains and all their underlings. That is amazing! I can't right now imagine how powerful they are. The art direction, the art style, it looks way more mature than the original ever did. I guess that's what happens when you condense a season into 13 episodes. Everything was just so sensational. Backdrops were perfect. And Ichigo just looks badass. All the characters just look cool. When they go Bonkai... <laughs> bon Kai! so good it's so good and i can't wait for the other characters to actually show their worth they just can't take a back seat in this man because there's a lot on the line here here's everyone's favorite part the dislikes i'm only going to speak from my experience yo i don't even know what was going on half the time i really don't you know i was just sitting there watching everyone go through whatever they're gonna do outside ichigo ishida chad and inoue i <laughs> i don't know who anyone was <laughs> I really don't know who anyone was. The Bleach universe and the lore, there's a lot to it. It's not just, you know, the world of the living and soul society. There's there's, there's a lot of stuff there that, that I don't know about. And so when you're, you know, you dive back in, I just didn't know what was going on, man. That one dark realm, Hukamundo or whatever it's called. I don't know what that is. Nor do I know who that woman is. Nor do I know who those, I don't know who anyone is, man. I'm not saying that's a problem. It's just, I think there's a lot more weight and a lot more importance when you know who these people are but to me they're just fodder for the wonder right they're just bodies they're just a number it is their world and everyone else is just living in it admittedly after a while you start to kind of pick up the after a while you you start to you start to pick up bah what am i trying to say Okay, all right. After a while, you know, you start to pick up you start to figure out who people are and you start to figure uh, yeah well, <laughs> you Suck. There's so much going on, and I'm not gonna watch all of Bleach, man. I'm not watching 300, 400 episodes. Bump that. I don't have time for that. I'll go kick rocks. The only shonen anime that I'm giving my time to because there's just literally over a thousand episodes is One Piece. And that's, that's the only one. The fact that I didn't know who people are, the fact that I didn't know what was going on, it did not matter. Everything else was just sensational. You know, I'm a fledgling. I'm diving back in in such a long time. It really feels great and I'm, and I'm all in. There's so much I want to see and there's so much I just can't wait for. Go watch some Bleach.